The term bryophyta is derived from the words bryon, mosses, and phyton, plants. Bryophytes are embryophytes such as mosses, hornworts, and liverworts. These are tiny plants that thrive in shaded and moist environments. They lack vascular tissues. They do not produce blooms or seeds, but rather reproduce by spores. Habitat of bryophytes. Bryophytes are tolerant to a broad range of environmental factors, including temperature, moisture, and elevation. They are found growing in a variety of harsh and diverse habitats, including the Arctic and desert regions, as well as in wet, shaded areas. It does not require roots to absorb nutrients from the soil, allowing it to grow in areas that are inaccessible to vascularized plants. Some of the bryophytes are extraordinarily resilient to extended freeze and dry spells, and photosynthesis begins when moisture returns. Numerous bryophytes flourish in soil on the lingering remnants of their own growth, or on the decaying or leaf material or other plants. Some are aquatic in nature, while others only grow on the exposed rock surface. Classification of bryophytes, which is Hepaticopsida liverworts, second, Entoceroptopsida hornworts, and Bryopsida mosses. Ecological importance of bryophytes. Firstly, they decompose the rock, making it suitable for the growth of higher plants. The acid secreted by lichens, death, and decay of mosses helps in soil formation. Second, they prevent soil erosion by reducing the impact of the falling rain. Third, the, they reduce the amount of runoff water due to their water holding capacity. And... Lastly, they help in recycling of the nutrients. So the importance of bryophytes is in research. Mosses and liverworts are used in research in the field of genetics. The mechanism of sex determination in the plant is discovered in liverworts. Second, for food. Some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds, and other mammals. And lastly, as indicator plants, some bryophytes grow in a specialized area and can be used as an indicator for acidity and basicity of the soil.